Hola a todos. My name is Erika Mesa. Fred Urquhart was a bookman. And what is a hobby that you have? And I thought for, about it for long and I, there's just no way that I don't tell you guys the truth. The truth is that a little hobby I have outside of drawing and illustra illustrating and creating characters and worlds, which is, is fun, but it's my job. Uh, I really like shopping, but I don't like it's Yes, I shop for clothes and bags and shoes, but I don't shop in the way that most of you guys must be thinking of which is to go to the mall and find sales and come back with 15 bags of, of, of stuff that I bought. No, I try to shop in what is a little bit more interesting for me from a creative point of view, but also from an environmental point of view, it's a much better way to shop, which is to try and buy stuff that is either secondhand or new, but depending on the item, uh, but that I am going to keep for at least 10 years. Yes, what made you work, want to work on this book project? And the answer is very simple. I was actually born in Morelia, in Mexico. Michoacán is a state where the monarchs go uh, home during the winter. And it's one of the places where we have got sanctuaries and the monarch butterfly itself is a big part of the local culture, both visually speaking, but also in terms of the of the original cultures in, 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 in the area, the Purepecha culture. Uh, it is believed for for the locals because it coincides with the arrival of um, the Day of the Dead. Like usually the butterflies arrive on the same day, 1st or 2nd of November. It's magical. It's a magical coincidence. It's got a massive meaning for for the local people. And because of it, I had always wanted to do a book about it. Plus, I really, really love them, as you guys can see. We have, what is your favorite illustration in the book? And well, I have it here with me. Um, this here is the original illustration for uh, the page where they finally arrive to, before we see Fred and Nora arrive to the sanctuary, they finally arrive to the place where the butterflies are. But for me, it was important to use this view of the town because it is the place where I was able to see a sanctuary for the very first time. It is absolutely beautiful. It's hidden away in the middle of a few mountains. Um, and as you go up to see the monarchs um, on the hills, you get to see the town get smaller and smaller, but it's always this small speck of color in the distance. How did you work with the author, Barb Rosenstock, to create this book? It was a very sort of, back and forth situation. However, the main thing that I do want to mention is that Barb had done a tremendous amount of research for this book, which first of all is the reason why she wrote such a good book. But secondly, it is also why I was able to make these illustrations as well as I did. So in that regard, I had an amazing, amazing partner to actually do this book with. And finally, what advice would you give to our young illustrators as they learn to improve their skills? The most important advice that I can possibly give you guys is to not stop. And I know that this is probably going to sound a little bit, you know, obvious, but it's the most likely trap that you could fall into. And the reason why that is, is because it's very easy when you're growing up and when you're starting to learn how to draw, to kind of feel discouraged. For example, with this book itself, so I had to, I had to do several takes until I found all of the wrong ways. 
to finally reach the right way. So by all means, keep drawing. Don't stop, don't feel discouraged and just keep learning as much as you possibly can.